So I decided to uh, throw a dubia in with Nikita. You can see the dubia off to the right of her by the skull. Um, she was back in her area back there with her butt facing out. Um, I put the dubia in front of her and she like turned in an instant. Now the dubia stopped moving so I kind of poked it with uh, my skewer and she came right forward towards the skewer. So I'm kind of waiting for that dubia to move again. Um, I don't want to put the skewer back in there because she's coming forward to it. So I would actually have to open up. God, she's pretty. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Very, 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 very cool. I'm kind of hoping that we can get her to feed here. I'm, I'm holding the camera so it's shaky and I apologize for that. And I know when I filmed her yesterday, it was the same way. The camera was a little bouncy. Um, I can't fit the tripod on here. I can try real quick. Um, let me try and do that and then we'll see if we at least stabilize the camera. Uh, hopefully she doesn't lunge at that dubia before. So I got the tripod set up in a really, really awkward looking position, but it's at least on. Um, she's made just a slight movement. I know if that do be a move, she's going to take it. I can, I can just, I can really, really, really feel it. She's done a lot of work in the last couple of days, so I'm I'm kind of thinking that maybe she just needs um, she needs something to eat, and uh, maybe she'll get to doing some more webbing. Now I can try. I'll open this this door here. Put you guys back where we were. very awkward trying to get this there we go you guys are kind of tilted though aren't we there it doesn't want to stay here we go So Doobie is right next to her, so I can probably, I'll, I'll try very gently. Yeah, she doesn't seem to really want to eat it. You guys aren't getting the the perfect shot of her coloring because of the light um, the lights on top so the camera doesn't suck up the light as well as it should but she looks so mystical with the darker features here even though we are a tad bit crooked let's uh, give her another yeah that's a leave me alone please leave me alone So she doesn't want to eat it. That's for sure. And there's a GBB threat posture for you. So uh, yeah, we'll just leave her alone. Apparently she doesn't want to eat what uh, is in front of her at all. She just wants to defend her new territory. Uh, I'm not worried about leaving the dubia in there with her at all. Uh, dubia won't cause her any harm. I'm sure it'll just kind of find a spot and bury itself anyway. 
and then she'll either eat it or we'll find it behind the styrofoam backing sometime. Who knows? Maybe never. See, she sure looks like she really wants to eat it when Dubia actually moves, but... Come on, girl. I mean, she is a perfect specimen. She's perfect. Other than the little spot that she rubbed off during the re or the, the removal of her out of here and then putting her back in, she is utterly perfect. So, um, I'll we'll just let this roll for a little bit because I'm not, I don't think you guys are going to mind looking at her. I can put, let's try, I'll try and give her some more light in the front. I got to change batteries in this other flashlight though. So I don't know if you guys are like me. Um, and I do go through quite a few batteries because I do have a couple flashlights, but I lost my one flashlight. I don't know. I, I lose things in this bedroom like daily. I have no idea where it went. Does that help any? Trying to get it so that camera picks up the light a little bit better, but you can see her colors a little bit better. That dubia is like right there and she's just kind of deciding on what she really wants to do. Do I want to eat it or do I want to just sit here and stare? But the, the carapace, her carapace has got the streaky blue lighter. Um, and you can see on the chelicerae. Let's try and let's try and enlarge here. Okay, if you look at the chelicerae on the outside parts, it's a lighter blue, and the blue gets darker as it gets into the center part of her chelicerae. Um, and you can see the small fine particle hairs as the chelicerae starts to curve down. Those uh, fine particle hairs there. Um, they're very, very, very fine. I don't think they're any different color. They seem to look that way because, uh, they're off on their own, but you could see her carapace. You could see that on the top of it, the blue lighting, the different shades of blue that are up there. And then her abdomen, of course, is that orange. Uh, and as it gets back to the back part where, you know, you have that, we would call like an urticating patch area. Uh, the the orange, uh, it's, it, it's kind of tans out, but her legs, you can see her legs, the front, her front legs there, how they have the blue on the femurs with that streaky lighter blue on them. Just, just utterly, utterly amazing species. Uh, I mean, my male was, was, was a good looking dude, uh, and didn't look much different except for a little bit more spindly. Now she's, again, she's not full grown. She still has probably about another inch and a half or so to go. But uh, she's definitely breeding size. So I'd, I'd filmed um, a 37 minute video earlier and uh, it was on, it was kind of, it was supposed to be a feeding video. It started out good because I fed the assassin bugs and it ended good um, because I fed the Brachypelma albopelosum Nicaraguan male, but everything in the middle was no good. Um, so you had a five minute video clip in the beginning and a five minute video clip in the end and 31 minutes roughly of um, some different setups, some spiders that were rehoused and a couple attempted feedings and got nowhere. So I, I just deleted the whole entire um, 
the whole video, all the all the clips are gone. I, there was no sense keeping them because I I talked in different clips about things that were in the clip before. So you're gonna back away from it now. You know what's there. Why don't you just eat it? I mean, I think everybody would like to see you eat, but we'll try one more quick thing. We'll open this door. I'm getting brave. And we'll move the light to in front, see if that does any better. And it doesn't, not at all. Seems to be best there. In the front. The camera can pick some of the light up. Yeah, gosh, she's pretty. So, I think her and Cheeto will probably be the stars of the channel for a while. Um, there's other ones that I'd really, really love to be, to put, that you know, as, as some centerpieces. The Encyclopedia Olivaceae is definitely one of them that I would love to be able to see more. And I did find out some awesome information about them today. And I'm, I think I'm going to go and get an 8x8 um, Exoterra Nano tomorrow for the Encyclopedia Olivaceae. Um, and fill it up to the vents with dirt, slope it in the back, and set it up in the corner arboreally um, because they're an actual arboreal species. Uh, something I didn't know before. Uh, I thought everybody I've seen have all had them, you know, set up terrestrial because they'll dig, um, they'll, they'll be fossorial, they'll dig a nice hole, uh, they'll web the crap out of the enclosure. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I just have to figure out where I will put it that's going to be the dilemma so I may have to may have to move some stuff around on this table here and set it right next to her um, and then have my little stuff that's on top of here that I can put somewhere else um, you know it's my accessory stuff paintbrush and tweezers and stuff like that catch cups and batteries some odds and ends so I'll have to find somewhere to put all that stuff and then put the nano next to her here and put my e olivaceae in that um i, I think that's what i'm going to do I, the price is not bad for a nano i think it was like 39 dollars so i have a little bit of christmas money so i think that's going to be my adventure tomorrow um if not tomorrow friday so okay well thanks for watching nikita um, consider eating the dubia threat posing a little bit um, a lot of people don't believe that GBBs will do that but uh, they're they're not really sweethearts <laughs> they're not like some of the other docile species that'll tolerate you in their space and um, tolerate handling so we'll, we'll let her be. Hopefully she'll decide to, to munch on that thing later on, give her some energy for her to do some more serious webbing of the area. Um, she may not web much more if she feels comfortable. She doesn't need to. So, I mean, we'll see. It took, you know, it took the other GBs a long time to really um, get things webbed up. And uh, just, just real quick so you know, um, the video I did earlier with the Hobby Lobby enclosures, the two smaller ones, I said I was going to put the Hapalopa species Columbia large and the Holothelli longa piece. Um, I did not put them in there. I put them in the in two vacant critter keepers, the small ones, because they're not, they were, they were smaller than what I thought they were. Um, but I did move the Ephobopus cyanonathus into one of those. And the other one is open. I was going to put the Terranol Pelmasazame into it, but I decided to put Chindi, the uh, other GBB, um, the one that's in the arboreal type setup, I decided to put her in that one. And uh, then I'll keep that arboreal setup for one of the 
Uh, I may actually put the Damon Diadema in there. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's what my plan is. I'll get that set up tomorrow with some nice structure and some nice um, anchor points. Um, get it set the way I want it. And then figure out how I'm going to get her out of that enclosure into the other one. And, and we'll have a nice... All three of the GBBs will be a nice, clear acrylic enclosures uh, that'll, that'll give them room to do some serious webbing. It'll give Chindi... A, a little bit more terrestrial room too so it, it has room to, to move she doesn't have a ton of room um, terrestrial in that one so she's kind of like she used that as a two or three story apartment building so okay uh, thanks for watching and have a great day uh, looking forward to a bunch of videos in January and uh, we'll see everybody soon